Alrighty guys, how you doing? This is Tech Reviews 135 here. I'm going to be doing a review over another processor. The first processor I actually used in my gaming rig. Um, this is the AMD Anthlon 2 Dual Core Processor. Now, uh, this is a pretty nice processor by AMD. Um, I did not get this in a box though. Um, I ordered this off a of new egg without the box. You can actually get it cheaper and I mean, you really don't get much with the box me. So I'll get to what you get with the box later. Um, so I got the Anthlon 2 here. Uh, the Anthlon 2 is a dual core, as I said before. Uh, it's the second generation of Anthlons. It does support 64-bit operating systems. And um, what you're getting with the um, dual core is you're getting better gaming. Uh, your gaming is going to be smoother because it's going to be running the game on two cores, which is uh, very nice as a start out um, to play Minecraft and stuff on. Uh, it's a pretty nice processor to match with an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, it really doesn't make a difference with an AMD card, uh, ATI Radon cards, no, not really. Um, so yeah, basically this thing runs at about 3.8 gigahertz, I believe, and, um, let me take a look here, uh, it's either 3.8 or, yeah, at 3.8. Um, it runs at 3.8 gigahertz, uh, you can barely overclock it. I do not suggest overclocking, but I did. You can hardly get anything out of overclocking. So, um, that's the processor right here. You'd usually get a little sticker, like when I got my FX. I got the little FX sticker with it, put on my computer. So you usually get a sticker there. Mine did not. Alright, so basically you get, in the box, you get the processor. Uh, it comes in a little plastic thing here. Uh, you got the sticker there, and you have the, you know, the processor there. So you go ahead and slide that away. Next thing you get is a pretty generic heatsink. Uh, AMD's been using this heatsink for quite some time. Uh, depending on the processor, it's pretty good. Um, it does have direct contact heat pipes. Uh, it's pretty low profile for the most part. And um, the, the fan usually is kind of good. Um, this, since I did not get the box, this came with my FX6 core, and obviously I do not use this on a 6 core. So, it's a pretty generic heatsink. It's It does alright for a dual core. I um, I think it runs fine on the dual core. Um, they've been act they've been using this for quite some, this heatsink design for a long time now, actually. And they would come out in their old AMD Anthron 64 processors. So, thanks for watching today's tech review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, comment any questions, uh, subscribe, and that would help me out a lot. And um, thanks for your time.